Hello everyone, it's Carrie. Today I have these cute stamps from Jessica Lynn Original. These are the Bernese Mountain Dogs, and here I have a few colored up. I thought it would be the perfect time to use some non-traditional everyday items for my cards. So here I have some newspaper, and then I have this dictionary. And I thought I'd look up the word dog. Now, this is gonna be a great background for a card. I hope nobody gets angry or mad because I'm going to rip out that page. But don't worry because this is a dictionary from 1984 and my dad got me this especially for making cards. I'm sure there's some new versions out now so it's okay to rip this up. I don't want any nasty DMs or angry people. But here I'm going to back this newspaper and the dictionary page on some cardstock. And to do this, I'm using some double-sided adhesive. I'll show you exactly how I did this. This is from Elizabeth Craft Designs, and you could also use Stick It if you have that in your stash. And just attach it to your cardstock, and then peel off the, the backer there to add the newspaper. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do all of these pages that I have here. I have a newspaper page, the dictionary page, and a smaller page. Now we don't end up using all of these, but I thought I would get them all ready at the same time just in case. So here I'm just gonna cut these down to make it a little easier. And in order to prepare these pages, I'm going to use something that I've had sitting around for probably over 20 years. I know it's a little unbelievable, but sometimes we do have some things in our craft room like that, and that's this gesso. I'm gonna stir this up. Seriously, this is a large jar, and I used to use this when I did oil paintings and I would prep a canvas with this gesso. Today, I'm going to use it to whitewash and prep these newspaper pages. And to make it a little bit easier on myself, I'm gonna add a piece of paper underneath, and that'll make it easier for cleanup. So I'm just using this sponge applicator to apply that gesso in a really light layer. I still want to be able to see that there's words behind there, but kind of whitewash them out to make it not so apparent. I'm just going to apply that to all three pieces and you can see that I'm getting a little bit messy, <laughs> but that's okay. That's part of the fun of crafting, right? This will also prep your page, so if you wanted to add any stamping or inking or any other crafty item to your page, this will actually prep that for it and make it easier. So there I have all the pages. I'm just gonna wash up. And while that's drying, I'm going to use the newspaper in another way. And that is as a wrap for these cute flowers that came in the set. So I just cut a small square and now I'm folding it up to make a little wrap for the flowers. And here you can see that I've already colored up that Bernie's Mountain Dog. He's so cute. I added some inking to the top and the bottom of this page and now I'm going to add some distress ink around this square of newspaper that I cut. This is Hickory Smoke and it just adds a little more detail to that newspaper wrap. I think it makes it look a little more authentic too. So I'm just inking up both sides and then I'm going to put the flowers inside and tie it around with twine. See, it's going to look like he brought you some flowers in with the newspaper. Isn't that cute? <laughs> I'm using my craft pick here to attach the flowers to the newspaper wrap and to also close up that wrap. I like to use this craft pick so the glue dots don't stick to my fingers. I don't know if that's ever happened to you, but this just makes it so much easier. I'll add that to both of the bouquets. I ended up coloring those with the Zig Clean colored markers you see there on the right. Just in some pinks and yellows. Added some green for the, for the stems and the leaves. And now I have a little bit of twine here that I'm going to tie those up. I'm going to clean up my surface a little bit. There, that's a little better, isn't it? So I'm just using a square knot. And I think that looks really cute. 
I love the idea that your dog brings you in some flowers along with the newspaper. So cute. So I'm just going to attach those bouquets to the card using some 3M foam tape. And then I'll attach that all to a card base, 110 pounds, which is my favorite card base because it's nice and thick. And there you have Happy Bark Day to you. Really cute. That sentiment also comes with the stamp set. So now that these other pages are dry, I'm going to ink around the edges using that same Distress Ink in the Hickory Smoke. And I'll just take a blender tool to add that detail around the edges. It makes it look like this newspaper is a little more worn, a little older. And I think it adds just the right amount of detail. You can still see that you can see the wording behind that gesso. It is whitewashed enough that you can barely read it, but it's still there and it adds an element to your card that is just, I think it works with the dog. It works. So I fussy cut out that close up dog, Bernese Mountain Dog. Isn't he cute? I colored these up with Copics and this one I used the neutral grays. So I used the N3, 5, 7, and 9. And since I fussy cut that, I like to take a black marker. This is a felt tip marker and just ink around all the sides. It makes it look like you have cut that out flawlessly. And so I'll take that and I'm going to back it with the paw print paper. In order to do this, I needed to cut down the newsprint just a little bit. Here's where I'm kind of getting the layout set up. I'm going to add a few hearts. The sentiment on this one says, sorry that you had a rough day. <laughs> I love that your dog can just welcome you home like that. So here, here's where I cut down the front of the newsprint to fit on the paw print paper as a backer. And I'm just going to attach that with liquid adhesive. Uh, but because I had to cut that down, I'm going to add a little more inking to the edges. There we go. That looks good. So I'm using my favorite liquid adhesive right now, and it's the Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive but I realized that I'm just about out. Time to order me some more Nouveau liquid adhesive. <laughs> so I'm going to put this card all together and here's where I just add the dog with some liquid adhesive, but I realized, yeah, this is pretty much gone. So I'm switching to my Gina K Connect glue. I also like this glue a lot. If you haven't used it, it's in the glue tube and it comes out nicely. So I'll use that for the rest of my project here attach the sentiment and I've cut that sentiment strip down so that it fits just on the newsprint part and now I'll add some glitter hearts to show you that your dog really loves you. Isn't this a cute card? Now usually I like to add my embellishments in odd numbers so three, five, but here I realized that the top of this card really needed three and then I have one at the bottom so that's four but if you separate them out it's still odd numbers right one on the bottom three on the top so there you go and to finish up this card I'm just gonna add it to a top folding card again the 110 pound it gives it a nice weight and since this has two layers of that card stock I'm gonna add quite a bit of glue to make sure that that stays down And then you have your completed card using some newspaper. This is kind of a fun element to add, especially to a dog card. You could use it for mixed media though. Lots of applications for using newspaper on your cards. And here they are all finished up. Happy Bark Day to you and sorry you had a rough day. And just to finish off that other birthday card, I thought it needed a heart too. I tried out the pink heart to match the flowers but it didn't have enough punch for me so I end up using that last little red heart to complete that card. I hope you enjoyed these projects today using Jessica Lynn original Bernese Mountain Dogs and newspaper. 
I hope I inspired you to create some cards of your own using some everyday household items you have around the house. Here are a couple of videos that you might also enjoy. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope to see you again next time. For more information, please visit my blog that's listed below in the description. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Bye.